Hello YouTube, um, this is trinary thought versus binary thought. It's an exercise in thought process. Uh, before I begin, I want to give all credit to my friend and I'll link to him and a few videos of his that I think that if you're interested in this, you might want to see. Binary statements are restricted to either a positive or negative thought process and can only be true or false. They only allow dichromatic thinking and they stagnate, they run into a wall when there's a rational paradox or when the statement cancels itself out. Trinary um, statements can incite positive and negative or non-response. Statements can be true, false, or meaningless. Basically non-statements, you just throw them away. You don't have to worry about them if they cancel each other. They cancel themselves out. It allows a free degree of association with thoughts, flexibility of language, and dismissal towards non-thoughts and non-evidence and non-arguments. Positive, negative, and neutral. You either love God or you hate God. You're either good or you're evil. You're either happy with me or you're upset with me. All right. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard... Um, one or all of those. Uh, first two, either from parents or, I don't know, somebody who had an argument with um, about morality or religion. Last one from a relationship that had a difficulty in expressing degrees of emotion or understanding degrees of emotion. I don't feel for something I don't believe in. I'm simply alive. I don't believe in your morality. I'm neutral towards you. Nothing is wrong or right. Um, and it's, I mean, I think these are pretty self-explanatory. They are the neutral statements. They are the, they are the statements that say, listen, what you say doesn't really mean anything to me. It's chill out, you know? <laughs> I'm all right. You're all right. Relax about it. This is a non-belief I have. So there's no point in putting positing negative or positive. Binary thinking leads to oversimplifications of problems and situations as well as polarizations of arguments. Religion, learning to debate in extremes only, emotional polarization, and other factors contribute to this way of reasoning and are also caused by it. Trinary thinking allows for flexibility in conversation, rational consistency, Varied degrees of emotion and a more complex portrayal of opinion. Neutrality, science, tolerance, and being taught to take all positions critically naturally lead to this line of reason and are caused by this line of reasoning. Problem of a rational paradox. This statement is not true. Uh, the statement is it's a very it's positive, not is a negative. In binary thinking, you stop there, and it's a paradox. What do you do? It's very difficult. Now, this is a rational paradox, not other types of paradox. It's neither, because they cancel each other out. It's a non-statement. It's neutral. And therefore, meaningless. In an objective sense, a rational sense. Um, you can use this... Um, you can use trinary in a few different ways. Um, with the religion, um, the uh, theism, atheism, agnosticism conversation, this way of thinking plays a big role in conversation. So going over someone, or going over it with someone who's taking especially a theist position or either, is relatively important. Because it, it does give a little bit of uh, contrast. It gives some gradient for you to work around and have the conversation. It makes everything a little bit more flexible in the way that everyone thinks about the conversation. Um, I'll link to a video of the person who opened this way of thinking up to me uh, where he explains it. And I might make a video like it. Um, so thank you for watching.